In this session, we'll learn how to grant project members access to the folders in BIM 360 Docs. As you can see, we're picking up where we left off in the last session. I have BIM 360 Docs open, and I'm in a project called Kensington Square. In the last session, I invited some members to this project. If I click the module selector and then choose the Project Admin module and choose Members, we can see a list of the members here. For this example, I would like to give Jerry and Alan access to all of the folders in my project. This way they can collaborate with me on any of the content stored in BIM 360 Docs. Morty, on the other hand, does not need access to the entire project. Morty is going to help me put together a 3D visualization. For that reason, Morty will only need access to a single folder. To assign these permissions, I'm going to return to the Document Management module. I'll start by adding Jerry and Alan to the Plans folder, such that they have access to these plan sheets. To do that, I'll click the ellipsis button next to the folder name, and then I'll select Permissions from the menu. Here in the Folder Settings view, I can see a list of the members who have access to this folder and their permission level. Notice that I have the highest level permission. That's because I'm an administrator for this project, and the permissions are inherited from that admin designation. To add members to this folder, I'll click in the field up above. Note we can add members by role, company, individual name, or email. I'm going to start typing Jerry, and then I will select his name from the shortcut, and then I'll type Alan, and I'll select his name. Once I've chosen members, I can then assign their permission level. Note there are several levels to choose from. Upload only, view only, view and upload, view upload and edit, and then the highest level. I apologize, my small screen size is causing a shake. This one's called view, upload, edit, and control. By assigning this level, Jerry and Alan would essentially be administrators for this folder. I'm going to drag this back. For this example, I'm going to give them view, upload, and edit rights, and then I'll click add. And that's it. Jerry and Alan have been added to this directory. At any point in the future, I could come back and adjust their permission levels. I could even remove them from the folder if desired. To close the folder settings view, I'll click the back arrow. Next, we'll assign Jerry and Alan's permissions for the directory tree below. Let's do it a little different. I'll right click on the project files folder and choose permissions. And this time, rather than entering individual names, I'm going to use a company name. I'll start typing Autodesk and then I'll select it from the list. Since Jerry and Alan are both associated with Autodesk, I can manage both of their permissions at the same time using the company name. Likewise, any future Autodesk employees I add to this project will automatically have permissions assigned for this folder. Let's use the same permissions, View, Upload, and Edit, and then I'll click Add. Assigning permissions by company or role can be one of the most efficient ways to control access to a project. One more thing. Any permissions assigned to a folder will automatically propagate to its subfolders. As an example, let's select the Documentation folder. Here you can see the same Members and Permission settings. Notice that the permissions for Autodesk are inherited from the higher level folder. Let's go even farther down. I'll expand Documentation and select Standards, where we can see the same Members and Permissions. So at this point, I'm done assigning permissions for Jerry and Alan. They have access to all of the folders in this project. Now, let's talk about Morty. Morty only needs access to the Models folder. I'm planning to use this folder to collaborate with Morty on some InfraWorks visualizations. I'm going to select the folder, and then I'll click the Back button to return to the Folders view. At this point, you can see the Models folder is empty. If you'll indulge me for one second, I'd like to put an InfraWorks model in this folder. Let's switch over to InfraWorks. Here in InfraWorks, I'll create my model using Model Builder. I will then enter the location of my project. I'll type South Brunswick Avenue. Springfield, Missouri. I'll select that area, and then let's switch from a road view to an aerial view. I can then pan up and find my project location. I will then select the rectangle tool, and I'll click, hold, and drag to define the limits of my model. I can then give the model a name. I'm going to call it Kensington Square. Then I'll select my BIM 360 project. That project is called Kensington Square. As I type that in, we can see it's filtered down here in the list. I'll select the project, Let's drag down. I will then expand the Project Files directory, and I'll choose this directory called Models. Finally, I'll choose Create Model. When finished, I'll close the notification, and then I'll close Model Builder. After a minute or so, the model is added to the home screen, where it can be opened and viewed using InfraWorks. That said, we can also access this model from within BIM 360 Docs. Let's flip back over to Docs. As you can see, the InfraWorks model has been saved within the Models folder of my project. Now, let's share this folder with Morty. To do that, I'll right-click on the folder and choose Permissions. I'll start entering Morty's name and then use the shortcut. 
I am going to give him view upload and edit rights to this directory, and then I'll choose add. Once he's been added, I'll click the back button to close the folder settings. Since Morty only has permissions to this folder, this is the only folder he'll see when he views this project in BIM 360 Docs. Let's test that. I'm going to use the icon in the upper right corner of the screen to sign out of BIM 360. I will then sign back in using Morty's credentials. Once logged in, we can see that Morty only has access to the one folder in my project for which he has permissions. In that folder, he'll find the InfoWorks model we just created. Clicking on the model will open it in the BIM 360 viewer, where he can roll the mouse wheel forward to zoom in and hold the left mouse button down to orbit and review what will be the first iteration of this model. As a side note, since we are sharing this model using BIM 360 Docs, Morty will also be able to use his version of InfoWorks to pull this model down to his local machine, make changes, and then publish those changes back to BIM 360 Docs. That, however, will be a topic for another day. When I'm finished reviewing the model, I'll click the X in the upper right corner to close it and return to the folders view. As you can see, BIM 360 Docs makes it easy to prepare a project for collaboration. Its intuitive controls for members and permissions ensures that the right people have access to the right content at all times. Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.